Hello, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the video. We got something a little different today. Y'all can see from the title and thumbnail. I'm doing something I kind of never done before. If you're wondering why. At every tour you can even imagine to one I go have fun on. You guys know I do my hunting stuff, my fishing stuff, my truck stuff, but guys, while I'm working up here with B, I mean, and then we'll talk about that once we jump on the little players and go for a ride, but I gotta, I wanna film some new stuff too. If you guys enjoy it, like why not? It's here to use it. I'm stealing one of B's little pit wheelers and we're gonna go have fun right around talking. See how bad I am at riding these things. Before we do that, I gotta show the Outlander, y'all. This thing is looking freaking bad ass. He and I went and picked that up the other day. You guys are probably watching, you've probably already seen it since this video will be out. But uh, yeah, that's a, that's a bad ass little unit right there. We got our helmet on. This is so weird. The other day, my head actually got stuck in one of these things. I didn't put it on right, apparently. B was telling me. Let's start her up. These things are fun. This is exciting. It's like I said, I've never done a video like this. Um, He's got so much stuff over here. It's kind of just like I'm trying to find stuff that I can do too. Honestly, if you guys are new to the channel, look at my old stuff. Um, I'm absolutely obsessed with fishing. That's what I do with a lot of my time. And Trying to find new ponds has been a pain in the butt. So I'm actually gonna take you guys to one of the ponds that we found. Five B screams into these mics, it's so loud. He filmed in his video, uh, I think it was yesterday. Hayden, me and Julius went here the other day. We caught some good fish. And oh, there she is. Get it to our first pond. So you guys probably remember this with the fence. That's what I was talking about. We went yesterday. It's a cool little pond, but I'm trying to like find more when I have free time, guys. That's why I want to try to like start making some some of these little pit wheeler videos. It's literally what everyone does up here, so it's kind of like you got to fit in, you got to do what you got to do, and like like I said, they're fun to ride. But also, my free time, I'm always trying to fish. So if you guys are actually in the Monroe area and you got some ponds for your boy, hit me up. We can go fish, make a video, whatever. But yeah, this is one of the little ponds I want to go to a lot more. It's literally right up the street from B's house. Actually, mentioned he wants to start doing some more of those pond hopping videos. Bring back fishing, man. I love it so much. I love filming it with the guys. And um, you guys seem like you really wanted to see more on his channel. So I leave here and I go back home. I do my truck stuff. And I actually am going to Wisconsin here in the next next uh two weeks so we're gonna do a lot of a lot of northern fishing up there so stick around look for that i'm actually leaving this friday tomorrow so when i go back home me and my buddy Dylan, we're gonna go fish for some massive flatheads i just try to do everything in the outdoors guys always everyone has their own thing that they like to watch but i feel like everybody should be watching it all because it actually is really fun if you give it a chance so uh yeah i just want to show you guys the pond this is where i come and hang out try to do some fishing actually about to jump to garrett's pond i want to talk about that one over there because b really hasn't filmed too much on it and i've been fishing that pond a lot recently so let's go jump over there it's fun jumping on this thing and just like going to the next spot i always enjoyed riding four wheelers and stuff the one thing i just do not do is dirt bikes busted my ass one time on a dirt bike when i was younger and i've never been one on one since i reckon i can give it another try I gotta get used to talking it's so loud when we're going fast i reckon y'all can hear me fine one thing I love being up here at the compound is I'm from Roseville and our land used to look like this. So, I mean, we got houses, but a lot of fields, we kind of lost that a couple years ago. So I feel like I'm back in the country when I'm down here. I love it. These little pit wheelers don't go too fast, but they're fun, man. I love them. It goes fast enough. The old cat eye. You guys obviously know this is the path we take to get to Garrett's house and also Garrett's pond. He and I stocked this thing, I think it was back in 2017? You guys remember Tic Tac that had that big old koi in here. First walk up, who do you think this is from? These tracks, freaking B takes it in here hauling ass, but the pond's actually doing really, really good. We stocked this thing with little baby guppies. I could try, oh yeah, they're right here. You guys can see those little fish right there, but those little guppies, mosquito fish. We stocked with a ton of those. We put like 35, 40 bluegill in here. We put, I think, six or seven good, I mean, they were good sized bass. Seems like, yeah, I normally try to come down here and fish, and I think it was probably last time I was here, so maybe like two weeks ago, Julius and Bieber went pond hopping, and they took me to these two ponds, and it started pouring down raining, 
and Julius was being a smart ass and he was like, I'll give you $50, you go catch a fish out of Garrett's pond and it's pouring down raining. I get out of the truck and I'll take you to the guys where I caught him at. It was like almost a two and a half, three pound bass. That was the first fish I ever caught in here. We never really tried to fish it when, um, whenever we stocked it. Hanging out right here. I normally catch a fish here, over there, and then in all this little brush. Really maintains the pond and the way Braden drives through here, it's probably not good for the fish either, but you know, he's got to do his thing and the fish got to do theirs. It's an effect of the fish since he's been doing that, so I reckon they're doing good and they look healthy when I catch them. They're all fat, so that is the update on, on Garrett's pond. It's still a good little pond, man. I would love to do more to it, but uh, it's really, it's, it's not my pond to do, but Garrett doesn't care if I come over here and fish and do whatever, so uh, I try to take care of it and make sure the fish are healthy. Yeah, so that's all I have to fish Garrett's pond and the pond up the street, and there's not really any big fish in any of them, but they're still fun to fish. I mean, would like to try to find some new ponds around here, because that'd be, That'd be pretty exciting. I honestly have no clue where I'm going. I'm pretty sure there is a there's a trail through here. I've done it a couple of times. So I gotta learn all this stuff. I haven't uh I haven't gone in here at all. Stick. I just took the wrong turn. <laughs> this way. Julius, Kyle, and B, they'll come through here 100 miles an hour because they know. They know everything about it. I don't know my limits. So I'll come through here and smack a freaking tree. Come out right here. Yeah, I think I can. Oh yeah, back on the path. This house is going up quick. Coming up to Julius's property and uh, you all can't see over, but there's fields everywhere. Love being outside in the outdoors. That's why I think, I mean, it'll be fun to try to jump on these little pit wheelers more. Brayden wants to get me into the bigger four wheelers and stuff. And I don't have a problem with them. It's just, it's really not my thing, guys. That's that's B's thing. Me and him just work extremely well together. If you guys are wondering how I've been, uh, you guys have been wondering how I'm doing over here working with him and stuff. Me and B, we, we just get along so well. We're like brothers now. Us to film content together. My content, his content, I mean, they get along, but like I said, Braden doesn't fish. I really don't even really fish and film on camera no more because it just does that bad for views. It sucks. I love it so much. I've never been back here once. Pretty positive Julius was telling me he was like trying to cut down a bunch of trees back here or something. I don't know. Let's go venture something else. I don't think Julius is home. I'd stop by and get his tail. Like I said, I figured I'd give this a try, man. I'm having a blast. Just out here riding. I'll root here real quick. This is funny. If you guys do not know, I was going to be living in this trailer right here, and I think there's actually somebody living in it right now. It was in really bad condition, and it was not even worth the time, so why Braden got the camper for me. But I'm currently living in his house right now, because the camper is 105 and the AC is not working. I mentioned that in my other videos, but yeah, she's not doing the best. Out of the old compound. Oh, my nuts. Another thing I've been filming a lot, doing all the bow fish, and I love that stuff too. I just recently got into that. Something's going on with the battery. We've replaced, I think, two so far. We got one more that's messing up, but the boats, it's fun. If you guys enjoy uh, us doing the old bow fish and stuff, it's exciting. The beach trip was awesome. That was fun going to it. And we normally try to jump to a bunch of different lakes, but recently it's just we haven't been able to find too many carp or catfish, honestly, anything. Oh, I forgot that bump was there. Hey, this, oh, look at that big ass frog, dude. Oh, and we're on backwards. That was a jumbo. When I was younger, we used to do that. We used to catch some of the biggest bullfrogs. We used to cook them up and eat them. Oh, another one right there. Last time we were here too, there's a there's a beehive over there. I guess someone takes the honey from it or whatnot. And Braden and Christian were jumping in here and it pissed those bees off and they were swarmed and pissed off. So you won't see me going in the swamp. We don't want to piss them off too much riding around here, but this is a cool spot. We definitely need to come back and see where we get some of those frogs. This is sketchy, but we'll try it. But there is a, uh, there's another path we could take. If I remember right, I did it one time with B. We can actually come out by Julius's house, but there's a, there's a family that lives over here and they have these dogs that sit outside and they will chase your ass down. Little chihuahuas, it's always the freaking meanest little dog. I think the path is over here. Let's hope these little bastards aren't out. No, they're not out. Oh yeah, here's the path. It's getting tall. I'm pretty sure this comes out by Julius. It does. All right, I'm learning. Just got smacked in the head by a 
stick. I don't think Julius is home. Bike's here. Let's give him a call. What's up, Hey, what are you doing? I'm working. What are you doing? Really don't know what to do. I don't know many paths around here, so I figured I'd give you a holler. And holler at me when you get off. Alright, will do. Alright, buddy. See ya. On to the next. I love Julius's land. Me and him actually might film some videos. You guys know Julius has a channel. Um, there's a lot of stuff we can do around Julius's little farm. Doing some fence work or cutting the grass or taking care of the animals. Got like a couple horses, a cow, a bunch of goats. No one else is doing it for you? <laughs> Good for you. I'm making my first vlog on the foiler. Yeah. I figured I'd try it, something different. Yeah, probably. And his mom is so cool. I was talking about this compound used to be like so much, but it, it's hard to maintain. The grass grows up. And the more you ride, of course, it uh, kills the grass and starts making a track again. But uh, I think it'd be cool to come through here and try to clean it up. I don't know where this track starts or where it goes, but I see a cow back here and try to like clean everything. I'm dragging a stick. Get off me. It's stuck in there. Get out of there clean up everything we can and get the track back to the way it used to be. Can I go over this hill? Oh yeah. I mean, it'd be fun to come back here and try to clean it up. Top speed. This thing goes pretty quick, dude. Oh, here comes Brayden right now on the big machine. Dude, this thing will crush my ass. Why are you so tall? Why are you so short? I don't know. What are you doing? I'm just cruising around, dude. I don't know where I'm going. Hey, don't do that. <laughs> I don't want to get in his way. Let him do his thing. That is one badass unit, though. I reckon we'll go back to the house. Oh. Let's go ahead and load her up and get her back where she needs to be. Use something, put it back, and take care of it. Pick this joker up. Put her in. I don't know how the hell they wear those helmets for so long. You sweat and you sweat, it's a pain in the butt. But, y'all, I think it'd be fun to come out here and make the video, and that's why I did it. It was probably kind of boring to you guys, but like I said, riding with some other people. Honestly, my goal is just to get used to operating all the machines. I mean, there's so many, they're all kind of all the same, but they're all different. So, it's just good to get some experiences, go hop on them. If y'all enjoy watching me do more of these little videos, um, I'll take one fish and I'll try to think of some creative ideas. If y'all have any, leave them in the comments down below. It was fun. It was different. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Till next time, Litton Bass TV.